lesson four. Where are you from? Countries. Hello, students. How are you today? Lisa, how's it going today? Good. And you? Good. Ali, how are you? Fine. And Isabel, how's it going for you? Just fine. Very good. Now, we're going to learn some more personal information. First, we're going to learn the names of some countries in English. Now, here we go. Canada, the U.S., Turkey, Greece, France, Germany, the UK, Japan, Brazil, Scotland, and Australia. Okay, so in English, these are Canada, the U.S., Turkey, Greece, France, Germany, the U.K., Japan, Brazil, Scotland, and Australia. Now, let's see what they look like on the computer. Here we have some maps for you and you can see what they look like. This is Canada, the US, Turkey, Greece, France, Germany, the UK, Japan, Brazil, Australia. Countries. Prepositions of location. Okay. Now we're going to learn questions and answers about place. This is what we say. Where. This means, means what place. And we'll also see the word from. Now, look at the question. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from... Mm -hmm. I'm from Canada. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Okay, now let's practice a little bit. Ali, where are you from? I am from Turkey. Aha. Uh -huh. Isabel, where are you from? I am from France. And Isabel, ask Lisa. Lisa, where are you from? I'm from Germany. Lisa, ask me. Teacher, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Okay, very good students. Now, we're going to review the verb to be. Now, again, this will add information. First, we have basic, short, and two examples. For every one. Now, first, and you remember this, I am short, I'm. I am from Canada. I'm from Canada. Okay? I am, I'm. I am from Canada. I'm from Canada. Okay, now the next one. You are, you are, short, your. First example, you are from Turkey. 
You are from Turkey. Short, you're from Turkey. Okay? You are, you're. You are from Turkey. You're from Turkey. Okay, next. He is. Short, he's. Example, he is from Brazil. He is from Brazil. Short, he's from Brazil. Okay? He is, he's. He is from Brazil. He's from Brazil. The next example. She is. Short, she's. Example, she is from France. Short, she's from France. Okay? She is, she's. She is from France. She's from France. Okay, next. It is. Short, it's. Next. It is from Scotland. It's from Scotland. Okay? It is. It's. It is from Scotland. It's from Scotland. Next, we, we are, short, we're. Example, we are from the U.S. And short, we're from the U.S. Now, again, we are, we're. We are from the U.S. We're from the U.S. Next, you are, you're, you are from South Africa. You're from South Africa. Okay? You are, you're. You are from South Africa. You're from South Africa. And finally, they are, they're, they are from India. They're from India. Okay? They are there. They are from India. They're from India. Okay, now let's look at the computer monitor and see how they look in the chart. Okay, basic and short. I am, I'm. I am from Canada. I'm from Canada. You are, you're. You are from Turkey. You're from Turkey. He is, he's. He is from Brazil. He's from Brazil. She is, she's. She is from France. She's from France. It is. It's. It is from Scotland. It's from Scotland. 
We are. We're. We are from the U.S. We're from the U.S. You are. You're. You are from South Africa. You're from South Africa. And they are there. They are from India. They're from India. Okay, now let me ask you some more questions. Now this is what it looks like. Okay, now this is where is mm -mm from? For example, Molly. Where is Molly from? She is from, for example, Canada. Where is Molly from? She is from Canada. Okay, now let's look at some pictures and I will ask you some questions. Ali, where is Madonna from? She is from the U.S. Mm-hmm. Lisa, where are Julia Roberts and Britney Spears from? They are from the U.S. Mm-hmm. Ali, where is Dolly from? It is from Scotland. Very good. Now, look and listen. Look and listen. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where is she from? She's from the US. Where is he from? He's from Australia. Where are you from? We're from France. Where are they from? They are from Turkey. present tense. All right, now we're going to learn a new verb tense, the simple present. The simple present. We use it for facts and routines. And today we're going to use the verb to speak. Now, we're going to go through it one by one. I speak English. I speak English. You speak English. You speak English. He speaks English. Okay, he speaks English. Here we have an S. She speaks English. Again, S. She speaks English. And it speaks English. speaks English. Now, we speak English. You speak English. And they speak English. Okay? 
So again, I speak English, you speak English, he speaks English, she speaks English, it speaks English, we speak English, you speak English, and they speak English. Okay, now, this S is very important for saying and listening. Let's practice a little bit. Ali speaks English. Ali speaks English. Isabel speaks English. Isabel speaks English. And the robot speaks English. The robot speaks English. <laughs> okay. Now, here is a question. Let me take these off. This is the question. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Now, I want you to look carefully because here we have do. This is a helping verb. Helping verb. All right? This is used in questions and negatives. The helping verb is used in questions and negatives. Now, let's look again at all of the verbs. Here we go. We're going to look at questions for the simple present and negatives. Okay, here we go. We'll have positive, negative, short negative, and the question. Okay? Positive, negative, short negative, and the question. Are you ready? Here we go. I speak English. I speak English. Negative. I do not speak English. Okay? Here is the helping verb. This is the negative. So, I speak English. I do not speak English. Okay? Short. I don't speak English. Do not, don't. I do not speak English. I don't speak English. And here's the question. Do I speak English? Okay, now again, positive. I speak English. I do not speak English. I don't speak English. Do I speak English? Okay, now let's move on. You speak English. You speak English. Negative. You do not speak English. Now again, short. You don't 
speak English. And the question, do you speak English? Okay, again, you speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? Okay. Next example. <clears throat> Now, pay attention. He speaks English. He speaks English. Here's that S. Very important. Now, look. He does not speak English. Here's the S. Here we need ES. Does. He does not speak English. He doesn't, doesn't speak English. All right, here it is again, the S. And the question, does he speak English? Here's the S, and here's the helping verb. Okay? He speaks English. He does not speak English. He doesn't speak English. Does he speak English? Okay. Now, of course, you'll know she very well. She speaks English. She speaks English. There it is. She does not speak English. Here's the helping verb, and here's ES for this. She doesn't speak English and does she speak English. Again, S and There's the S sound. She speaks English. She does not speak English. She doesn't speak English. Does she speak English? Now, we can do the same thing with it. She, it, speaks English. It does not speak English. It doesn't speak English. Does it speak English? Okay. Notice you have it doesn't speak English. Turn it around. Does it speak English? I need the question mark. Okay. Next. We... speak English. We do not speak English. We don't speak English. Do we speak English? We speak English. We do not speak English. We don't speak English. Do we speak English? Okay, next. Let's do it a quicker way. Okay, you, you, you speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do 
You speak English? Do you speak English? Okay? Now, the last one. Again, we'll do it the short way. They, they speak English. They do not speak English. They don't speak English. Do they speak English? They speak English. They do not speak English. They don't speak English. Do they speak English? Okay. Now, let's look at the monitor and you'll see some examples all together. Okay. Now, let's look positive, negative, short negative, and question. First, I speak English. I do not speak English. I don't speak English. Do I speak English? You speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? He speaks English. He does not speak English. He doesn't speak English. Does he speak English? She speaks English. She does not speak English. She doesn't speak English. Does she speak English? And it speaks English. It does not speak English. It doesn't speak English. Does it speak English? Now, we speak English. We do not speak English. We don't speak English. Do we speak English? You speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? And finally, they speak English. They do not speak English. They don't speak English. Do they speak English? Now, look again at he, she, and it. He speaks, she speaks, and it speaks. We have S, 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 speaks. In the negative, negative, we have he doesn't speak. Here's the S, not here, here. And we have the question, question. Does he speak English? Okay, now this is very important. Here you have the S. Here you have the S. Not here. And here's the helping verb again in the question. Here is the S. Not here. This is the helping verb. Okay. Now, when we ask a question, we can give a short answer. So, this is what it looks like. Let me give you all of them. And you can see how this works. Now, first, we have the question. And you have the short answer. Positive and negative. Okay, positive and negative. So here we go. First one, question. Do I speak English? 
do I speak English? And the answer is, yes, you do. Do I speak English? Yes, you do. Notice, do, do. Okay, negative answer. No, you don't. Okay? Do I speak English? No, you don't. Okay? Now, next, let's just do it easy. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Short answer, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Negative, no, I don't. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do you speak English? No, I don't. Okay? Now, we have to change this a little bit. Does he speak English? Now, again, we have the helping verb with the S. No S here. It's here. Does he speak English? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Does he speak English? No, he doesn't. Okay? Again, you have the S here. And of course, it's the same with she. Does she speak English? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does she speak English? Yes, she does. Does she speak English? No, she doesn't. Okay, and then, of course, we have it. Does it speak English? Yes, it does. Does it speak English? No, it doesn't. Okay? Now, we go back to the other ones. Do we speak English? Do we speak English? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Okay? Do we speak English? Yes, we do. Do we speak English? No, we don't. And again, we have, do you speak English? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Okay? Do you speak English? Yes, we do. Do you speak English? No, we don't. And finally, do they speak English? Do they speak English? Yes, they do. Do they speak English? No, they don't. Let's look at the monitor again. We have the question and the short answer. Positive, yes. Negative, no. Okay? Do I speak English? Yes, you do. Do I speak English? No, you don't. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do you speak English? No, I don't. Does he speak English? Yes, he does. Does he speak English? No, he doesn't. Does she speak English? Yes, she does. Does she speak English? No, she doesn't. Does it speak English? Yes, it does. Does it speak English? No, it doesn't. Do we speak English? Yes, we do. Do we speak English? No, we don't. Do you speak English? Yes, we do. Do you speak English? No, we don't. 
Do they speak English? Yes, they do. Do they speak English? No, they don't. Now, look at the question. Here's the helping verb. Do you speak English? And the answer, yes, I do. Do, do. Okay, let's practice. Ali, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Ali, ask Lisa. Lisa, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Lisa, ask Isabel. Isabel, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Isabel, do I speak English? Yes, you do. And assistants, do you speak English? Yes, we do. Oh, very good. Bravo. Okay, now we're going to look at the names of countries and the languages. Now, here we have the United States, English. England, English. Canada, English and French. Germany, German. France, French. Turkey, Turkish. Japan, Japanese. South Africa, English, Afrikaans. And finally, we have China, Chinese. Okay? Now, let me ask you some questions. Lisa, does Tom Cruise speak English? Yes, he does. Ali, does Fatih Terim speak Turkish? Yes, he does. Does he speak Italian? I don't know. Yes, he does. Aha. Uh -huh. Isabel, does Gerard Depardieu speak French? Yes, he does. Do you speak French? Yes, I do. Okay, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Does she speak French? Yes, she does. Do we speak Chinese? No, we don't. Do they speak Arabic? Yes, they do. Read and repeat. Okay, now you've worked very hard. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Listen and write these words. Number one. France. France. Number two. Germany. Germany. Number three. Where? Where? Number four. Australia. Australia. Number five. Turkey. Turkey. Now, check your work. Number one, France. Number two, Germany. Number three, where? Number four, Australia. Number five, Turkey. Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one. Lisa is from Germany. 
Lisa is from Germany. Number two. Ali is not from France. Ali is not from France. Number three. Where are you from? Where are you from? Number four. We are from Japan. We are from Japan. Number five. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Now, check your work. Number one. Lisa is from Germany. Number two. Ali is not from France. Number three. Where are you from? Number four. We are from Japan. Number five. Do you speak English? Now, read the story and answer the questions. Read and answer. Paul is from Greece. He lives in Athens. He is 20 years old. He is tall and good looking. He has short, curly, blonde hair. He speaks English. He doesn't speak Japanese. He is a student at university. Now, answer the questions. Number one. Where is Paul from? Where is Paul from? Number two. How old is he? How old is he? Number three. Is he tall? Is he tall? Number four. Does he speak Japanese? Does he speak Japanese? Number five. Is Paul a student? Is Paul a student? Now, check your work. Number one. Where is Paul from? He is from Athens, Greece. Number two. How old is he? He is 20 years old. Number three. Is he tall? Yes, he is. Number four. Does he speak Japanese? No, he doesn't. Number five. Is Paul a student? Yes, he is. Very good. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. I'm so happy this afternoon. Why are you so happy? My cousin is coming to visit. She is from Boston. She went to France. I can't wait to hear about her trip. I want to see Paris someday. Everyone says it's a wonderful city. Oh, wait. Here she comes now. Kelly! Kelly! We are over here. Hi, cousin. How are you? I am fine. Welcome to Istanbul. How are you? I'm great. It's very nice to see you. Kelly, thanks. Let me introduce you to my friends. Kelly, this is Sam, Jack, and Carrie. Hi, Jack. Hi, Sam. Hi, Kelly. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. This is our new friend from Greece. His name is Alexi. Alexi, this is my cousin Kelly from Boston. Hi, Alexi. How are you? Angie has told me about you. You are from Athens, right? Yes, I am from Athens. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. How many languages do you speak, Alexi? Well, my first language is Greek. Of course, I speak English, too. I also speak a little French and Spanish. 
speak a little French, and I'm glad that I do, because it really helps when you visit a foreign country to speak a little of the language. I agree. I think that it's important to speak a few languages. I know a man in our neighborhood who speaks seven languages. That is a lot. Wow, that is a lot. Where is he from? He is from Canada, so he already knows French and English. He also speaks Italian, German, Spanish, Russian, and Chinese. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> I only speak English. I don't speak other languages. Jack, don't worry. Your friend speaks enough languages for all of us. Okay, everyone. I have a quick quiz for you about languages. For each right answer, I'll buy you a small piece of chocolate. Ready? In what South American country don't the people speak Spanish? I think they all speak Spanish, and this is a trick question. <laughs> no, no, no tricks. Okay, everyone. What's the answer? I don't know, but I guess it's in Bolivia. Hmm, I'm still thinking. I think the answer is Ecuador. No, I think I know this. The answer is Brazil, right? Kerry, what do you think? I think the answer is Brazil too. I will agree with Kerry and Angie. It's Brazil. The girls are correct. In Brazil, the people speak Portuguese, not Spanish. Well, Jack and I want a new question. Okay, okay. Let me think of another one. Okay. In one country in Europe, people speak four languages, but they don't have their own language. What country is? I know this one. Me too. I'm not sure. I think it could be Greece. No, wait. Norway. Guys. What do you think? Switzerland. Switzerland! Yes. In Switzerland, they speak German, Italian, French, and Romansh. Alexei, you speak Greek and English very well. And you speak French. And you also know a lot of other languages. We want another question. That's enough for now. Your cousin is here, and she wants to tell you about her trip to France. You're right. Kelly, how was your trip? It was great. Thanks.